Hello, I'm making another Drawing Every Vocaloid video, and this one's Luca. To start out, I'm going to start out by talking about the drawing. I started out liking this drawing, but I got bored with it, so it's not like a fully rendered drawing, and it's kind of a little bit lazy. Like, not just a little, but like a lot, I guess. Um, so it's not fully rendered. It doesn't look bad or anything, but yeah, just so you know. I'm redrawing her first box art as usual um so yeah now time to talk about luca megarina luca codenamed as cv03 is a japanese vocaloid developed and distributed by krypton future media and was initially released in january 2009 for the vocaloid 2 engine she is the third release of Krypton's character vocal series and is a character voice vocaloid. In March 2015, an additional voice bank and an upgrade to the Vocaloid 4 engine was released. Her voice is provided by the Japanese voice actress and singer Yu Asakawa, who was recorded in Japanese and English for the voice bank. Luka was the first vocaloid designed to fully support producing vocals in both Japanese and English and the first addition to the character vocal series software line characterized as an adult. Her surname combines meguri, which means circulate or around, and ne, sound, while the name Luka invokes the homophonous... I've never seen that word before. Um, pronoun pronunciation... Oh my gosh. Of ru and ka, which ru means flow and ka means song. And mean scent so uh, <laughs> making songs to all around the world as scent spreads that's a really weird name in my opinion <laughs> her name is based off of her concept which is traveling sound meaning words which are translated from one language to another Vocaloid fans tried to assign an item to Luca as they had done with past Vocaloids, sparking a heated debate over the choice. Taco Luca marked the end of the item war system, where the items were assigned to Vocaloids based off of memes. Despite the internet meme's popularity, she is often seen with a tuna fish. This is a result of comparing the Japanese word for tuna, maguro, with her last name, so like Luca Maguro instead of Luca Megurine. According to Kay, who was asked by Krypton to illustrate her, her design was made to be asymmetrical due to her bilingual software so she would look different in various angles. Unlike previous mascots in the series, her costume is not based off of a school uniform. She's based, based off of the Yamaha VL1 VL1. Her dress was designed to look like an to look old-fashioned to make her represent the past. As a form of contrast, the infinity sign on her neck represents the sound around. Her design incorporates woodwind and brass instruments. The gold curl, on, the gold curl design on her chest it mimics brass in, instruments in a circulatory organ. The blue jewel near her throat represents moisture in the air and water drops. <laughs> Again, I find that so weird. Despite the inclusion of English, Megarine Luca was not aimed at a worldwide audience. Instead, she was focused primarily at Japanese producers. Her Vocaloid 2 software and promotions therefore were restricted for a long time within Japan and not even software support was offered in English. That's everything about the history of her. Um, here's some general information. She's female. She's 20. She's 162 centimeters. And she's... Um, her weight is 45 kilograms. I feel like this was so short. I feel like these videos aren't really working out much anymore. I don't know. But anyway, everything that I just read is directly from the fandom wiki so if you want to look at it and see anything that i left out or anything you can look at that none of that was my own so i'm gonna talk a little bit more about the drawing so i started out trying like you know with trying to do it fully regular i wasn't in I wasn't intending for this drawing to be like lazy or half rendered. I think after I got done with the hair, I decided I'm really bored of this and I don't want to be doing this right now. <laughs> 
I even had to start another drawing while making this because I was getting so bored with this. I started drawing Silver the Hedgehog. <laughs> um, and I think I definitely will make a series of like this, but with Sonic characters because I really wanna. So yeah. For that, I won't be doing like side characters, like, like for example, um, Fang. I'll only be doing like the main characters that reappear in stuff or I don't know. I'll just pick and choose whatever I want. Or maybe I'll just do stuff from games or something. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, but yeah. I actually have no idea what Vocaloid comes after Luca. Like, for the first few ones, I knew exactly, like, who came after. Except for, um, Miram. I didn't know she existed until I got confused with the orders and realized, oh wait, there's someone named Miram. Um, but other than that, I don't know who comes next, actually. I'm guessing it might be, like, Oliver or Gumi. I'm not positive. I know there's no more Krypton reports, so yeah. So yeah, that's everything, and now I'm going to be playing her first ever song. <laughs> 